folks, week 13 of the National Football League 2017 season is upon us. Let's get straight to the action. All right, Thursday night, we got Washington at Dallas. Washington's a two-point favorite. The over-under is 45 and a half. I'm going to say keep it under that, and I think Washington can win probably by at least a full touchdown, maybe even double digits, so I'm not going to keep the line there. Just go on the Redskins and win outright. I don't really see Dallas rebounding at home. Uh, Sunday, we got Minnesota and Atlanta. Atlanta is a two-and-a-half point favorite. The over-under is 47. I am going to say keep it under that, and I think Atlanta will win by exactly a field goal. So they will win. They will cover the spread. Don't really feel like I'm messing around with that one too much either. Detroit at Baltimore. Baltimore is a two-and-a-half point favorite. The over-under is 41. I can see it going both ways, uh, but I'm going to go Detroit and the upset. I think they win by at least a field goal, maybe even a full touchdown. So uh, Detroit, they're a two-and-a-half point dog. Give them the point spread, pick them to win outright. I think they'll do that. The overner is 41. Definitely give them for the win because these teams can play defense. So there's that. New England at Buffalo. It's at Buffalo. Buffalo is a 10-point underdog. The overner is 48 and a half. I think it's going to be under that, and I think that although New England will win this game, I think Buffalo will keep it close. And they're going to lose by 10 points, and they'll lose by like 6 or 7. So it will be kind of a close game. So although New England does win outright, go with Buffalo to cover the point spread, and you'll be glad you did. San Fran and Chicago, uh, with a combined record of what, 4-18? and 18? This would be a great one for Guantanamo Bay. Uh, so yeah, Chicago... They are listed as a three-point favorite. The owner is 40 and a half. Uh, keep it under that. And I'm going to go with San Francisco to win this one. They win by at least a, a touchdown, seven points, maybe even nine points. So definitely go with them on the upset there. I just don't think Chicago really has much working with them with Mitch Trubisky. And I think uh, that Jimmy Garoppolo guy is finally going to come into his own on this one and get San Francisco their second win of the season, which will be their last one too. So there's that. So go with San Fran to cover the point spread and definitely can win outright. And you'll be glad you did. Tampa Bay at Green Bay. Uh, right now, it's a pick em right now. It's listed as a zero. Over is 44. I'm going to say keep it under that. And I'm going to go with Green Bay to win by six points. So whatever the point spread is, give it to Green Bay. They, they should win this one. As long as it's nothing more than a touchdown. I think that sounds pretty reasonable. Indianapolis at Jacksonville. All right, I'm doing it. This is my upset of the week. Uh, the Colts played uh, very, very close against Tennessee. Jacksonville, of course, lost that uh, game against Arizona, so they are prone to choking. And I think uh, Indianapolis wins this. I think uh, Jacoby Brissett goes in there, and he makes himself famous. And he gets like three or four touchdowns in this one, actually. So, yeah, the opener is 40 and a half. I'm going to say keep it slightly above that. Jacksonville is a 10 and a half point favorite. I'm picking Colts to win outright. They're going to win the whole game. So definitely, even if they don't win, tell them to cover this break because it's not going to be an 11-point victory for Jacksonville. Colts going to shock them, and it's going to make a, the AFC South race very, very interesting moving forward the next couple of weeks. Denver at Miami uh, in the toilet bowl here. Depending on which spread you're looking at, I'm seeing everything from a pick them to a 1.5. Denver... Believe it or not, is the favorite in both of these contests. I'm assuming Trevor Simeon is going to start. I'm also assuming Matt Moore is going to start for the Dolphins, so it is backup bowl 2017. The over-under is 38 and a half. That sounds pretty reasonable to me. I think, uh, I hate to say it, but I think Denver wins this. I think they finally snapped their losing streak. They don't win by a whole lot. They win by like three points, four points, less than a touchdown, but they still win regardless. So, uh, Go with them as the favorite, but they don't cover the spread. Actually, they do cover the spread, so never mind. Denver's going to win. Let's put it that way. Kansas City and New York. I am tempted. Oh, goodness, how I am tempted. Uh, of course, the Chiefs started off 5-0, and and now they've lost five of their last six. So they're a three-point favorite heading in this game against the Jets. They're playing in the Meadowlands. Chiefs are collapsing quick. The Jets have already imploded. The owner's 44. I'm going to say keep it under that, and I think the Chiefs do win this one. They pull out the victory. Uh, they have them listed here as a three-point favorite. I think they win by at least a touchdown, maybe even nine points. So 
just go for the Chiefs to win outright, and they'll probably do you good. Houston and Tennessee. Tennessee's a seven-point favorite. The winner's 43 and a half. On any other week, this would be an upset of the week, but of course you have the Colts bumping off Jacksonville. I think the Texans go in there and they actually beat Tennessee. It's going to be a pretty shocking win. Mildly shocking, anyway. Um, so, yeah, the winner is 43 and a half. I'm going to say keep it above that. And I think Houston wins by exactly seven points. And they're a seven-point dog, so they cover the spread outright. What are the odds? Cleveland and L.A., this is going to be my lock of the week. Cleveland can't win for, for losing. The Chargers looking very, very good heading down the stretch. Um, Overner is 42.5. I think it's going to be above that. Chargers are listed as a 14.5 point favorite. Uh, the Chargers are going to win. There's no doubt about that. But I think 15 points a little bit too high. I think the Chargers win by like 10 points, 11 points, 12 points. But 15 points is way too high for me. So the Chargers, they do win outright, but hear me out on this one. Cleveland does indeed cover the spread, even though they do lose. It's a very, very important caveat. Keep that in mind. If you do that, you should be a happy camper. All right. The other team from L.A., Rams at Cardinals. Uh, the Rams, 7.5 point favorite. The opener is 45. Uh, you know what? I'm going to play it really loose on this one. I think Arizona gets an upset here. I think uh, the Rams go in there a little bit overconfident, and I really like the way uh, the Blaine Gabbert has been playing in Arizona of all people to actually be having a surprisingly decent season. So I'm going to 45. I think it will be below that. I think Arizona wins by probably mm, eight or nine points. So I'm going to go with Arizona to cover the spread, of course, but also went out right. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, moving along, we got Carolina at New Orleans. It should be pretty interesting. New Orleans is a four and a half point favorite. They lost to the Rams last weekend. Over there's 48. I want to say keep it above that. I'm going to go with Carolina and get another upset. They went by at least a touchdown. So big Carolina cover the point spread and also pick them to win outright. And that gives them control of the NFC South. Giants at Raiders. The first time the Giants have been without Eli Manning as their starting quarterback and Raiders isn't playing like 210 games. It is in Oakland. Oakland will be without uh, Michael Crabtree. Don't know about Amari Cooper. He'll probably play, but there's off chance he doesn't. Uh, Oakland's a 10-point favorite, depending on which uh, book you're using. I see one that's 7.5, another at 9. Uh, Over is 42. I'm going to say keep it uh, slightly above that. And while I do think the Raiders win, I think they only win by like a touchdown. They win by six points, seven points, ten points, way too high of a spread for me this one. Now I'm a Raiders fan. These games have been very, very close. I don't trust me to go in there and blow them out like they did the Jets that one time. So Raiders win, but the Giants, surprisingly, do cover the spread. All right, Philadelphia at Seattle. Uh, Philadelphia a seven-point favorite. The winner's 47 and a half. Might as well have one more upset on there because it's upset weekend, apparently. I think Seattle's going to win. They're very, very difficult to beat on the road. I think they win by exactly a touchdown, and what do you know? That's the line. So pick Seattle to cover the spread. You'll be glad you did. Over is 47 and a half. Keep it below that. And uh, let's go Seattle on the upset, and it went out right. Just very straightforward. And lastly, our Monday night game. Why the hell not? One more upset. Pittsburgh's a five-point favorite. The winner is 43 and a half. I think it will be underneath that, and I think the Bengals go do their home stand and they upset Pittsburgh. I think they win by at least a touchdown. So, how about that? And I think Joe Mixon gets a lot of yards. So, another little monkey wrench in the AFC playoff race. Things getting very, very interesting. So, I'm going to go with Cincinnati to win outright, or at least cover the spread. Either way, you, you should make a little bit of moolah. So, that's it. First week of December. We, after that, we've got only four more weeks. Things are starting to get very, very interesting across the NFL. And as always, we have to say it. Preface all our videos. We do not condone illegally betting on sporting events. As always, we much prefer if you put all that money in the stock market where there are far less safeguards. And it can ruin your entire family financial predicament in one fell swoop. That's the American way. All right. You kids take it easy. I'll be seeing you on the field. And just enjoy America's game while we still have America.